the, the loss vector, resultant loss vector has a rather complicated form. E2, H2, 3 plus 6 H2 plus 4 H2 square plus 2 E2 H2 cube plus E2 square H to the H to the 3 fours. And you don't have to write down all of this because all everything is in the, in the text. Okay. 1 plus divided by 1 e2 h2 and then I have a very lengthy da 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 okay what I'm going to say is the e2 and the h2 is H2, H2 is the ratio between H2 and H1, okay, so, okay, if I want to put the rubber sheet on the apartment, where two boys are very active, Usually H2 is much, much smaller than H1, right? Eh? So H2 is very small, less than 1. And E2 also smaller than 1 because the uh, elastic modulus of concrete is smaller than elastic modulus of rubber. Eh? So these quantities are very small one. So resulting EI is approximately same as E1 AI1. So I do not lose the bending rigidity. I mean, there is a very small amount of increase of bending rigidity, even if I put the uh, uh, rubber. But look at this. E2, H2 is a small, but this is a proportional to E2, H2. Therefore, I get some increase of loss factor by putting the rubber on the floor. So, if you look at the uh, text, you are asked to design the, the robot should have. The thickness, I mean, you, you, you are asked to select the thickness of a rubber and you are asked to how much loss factor increase you have by using the rubber. And at home, you are asked to repeat, repeat what you do in the, uh, in the uh, examples in the home. That this is the whole story. Okay? Okay, let me summarize. We cannot always put, use the vibration observer because we are not sometimes allowed to have a additional mass on the structure because this is expensive. In that case, we have to use a rubber for using. And the rubber is considered to be what? Viscoelastic material and viscoelastic material can be considered as damper. We can often model that one has a complex stiffness. Right? And this is the case when we put a rubber over some structure. So we can estimate resulting bending rigidity by putting rubber and the resulting loss factor by putting rubber by using this formula. Okay? 
Okay, that will help you to finish your homework. Okay. The other one. Okay, when we have a rotating disc, that is rotating and we put some bearing over here bearing is mounted on the floor okay simple example is your bicycle you have a rotating disc and your bicycle is rotating over the bearing. Okay. Or suppose you have an engine or propeller. Okay. Previously we learned how much vibration we will have. We have unbalanced mass over there. Huh? And the excitation frequency, excitation force was, if I denote this is E, then the excitation force is somehow E omega scale M, proportional to E omega scale M, because the unbalanced mass will exert the force that is proportional to the omega square, centrifugal force. Okay. Then this one will rotate. What if this extra, I mean, the, the, the vibration induced by unbalanced mass coincide with the frequency Natural frequency that is made by the stiffness of this shaft and the mass of this rotating disk. Then what happened is, as the rotating disk rotating, because the shaft is flexible, and then the disk will move like this. Rotating, but as well as moving like this, right? <laughs> and the frequency of this, not this frequency, but the frequency of this rotation, which we call falling. 